You're listening to the Loremaker Chronicles, currently presenting a vase in actual play by Roll for Perception. Content warning. This episode contains discussion and roleplay related to domestic abuse, suicide, ghostly entities, and general horror-related content. Please take care of yourself if these items affect you. This is episode 6 of The Dance of Dreams. Prepare yourself for the fear that will flow into your soul. I will be honest, it is surprising that this group is still alive after everything they've seen at the Witch Cat Inn. And it seems they finally confronted Oscar Yort, the man who has been creating such havoc. Well, they're in the root cellar, a place of magic. And they're dealing with Oscar's puppets as best they can, but will they be able to pacify Oscar himself, or will our society members finally find an end? Tune in and find out. The fight is ongoing between our society members and mm, four puppets now, I believe, uh, with Oscar watching on. And we're back to the top of our initiative order. We begin with Helena. All right. So um, amongst my equipment, I actually have a camera. So I'm going to pull my camera. Um, it's one of the writer's items. Yeah, yeah um, no, I like it. Uh, she, I'm going to pull it out, and I'm actually going to hold it up and sort of say out loud to Oscar, Okay, Oscar, help me find your body. And she's going to, or I'm going to, like, kind of try to utilize the, the, the camera to help me focus and scan the area more directly rather than trying to use my eyes because then I'm focusing on smaller sections as I'm scanning through to see if I can see um, maybe his bones protruding through the earth somewhere or you know something that gives me a sense that it helps me sort of focus better on on what I'm looking for. Oscar, come on, you've got to be here somewhere and I'll, I'll kind of pan the camera across solely as I, as I look. So a couple of things. Uh, one, when you say, Oscar, you've got to be here somewhere. Uh, the, the ghost, the creature turns to you and focuses directly on what you're doing. And you hear as he says, mm, I'm right here. And then you'll hear him as he finishes it by saying Hilma and does the camera give you any bonuses uh so my camera provides me a plus two uh let me uh I can't remember exactly to what let me pull that page up real quick camera uh, plus two, it's used to gain knowledge about a place with learning or investigation is the effect of it. But yeah, the bonus is a plus two. All right. All right. Um, let's go with investigation on that then. All right. Because that is what you're doing. You're investigating, trying to find uh, what is obscured, as it says directly in the investigation notes. Okay. So it's logic plus my investigation plus two. Is that how that works? Correct. Minus two or right. minus whatever mental Which you that have. just puts me at seven because it would be nine with my plus two from the camera. Yeah, that's exactly it. All right. Okay. That is two sixes out of the seven. All right. Yeah. So by um, searching with the camera, uh, you are able to find that Oscar's remains are buried in the direct center of the root cellar. Uh, the, um, the remains are not very deep, Mm -hmm. but they are, they are buried. All right. So then for my fast action, I'm just going to kind of quickly point and, uh, call out. He's there, everyone. He's there. 
Very good. I like that. All right, we go to the creatures. Uh, the first one is going to... This is the one next to Tova is going to attempt to fight you, Tova. Uh, will you be... Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you roll your dodge, uh, and I roll okay. my... Dodge, which is... Okay, hold on. Two seconds, I'm so sorry. You're good. I've already done my roll. I know what you have to have to match. Oh no! To that knock or, or to move out of the way of another. That one. sounds ominous. Okay, dodges agility. Okay, agility. Which I'm Can so great at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So five plus one, but minus two, so four for me. Two successes out of four. So as the sleepwalker attempts to swing at you, you very quickly move out of his way. Uh, I only had one six. So you're able to very easily dodge. Now let me double check to make sure there are no bone uh, with additional. uh, Each success deducts. The attack misses. Then required, you may choose to swap initiative. to. Would you like to swap initiative cards with the enemy? This would move you up to second in the initiative order. I would. And that moves the enemies all the way to the end. And so what what I'm going to do here then is we move immediately to your turn. When it gets to the enemies at the end, one of them will have already gone, so only three more will be able to go. And so, Tova, you're up. Oh, so it's standing right there in front of me. Yeah. Trying to get the best of me. Well, I am going to crack my knuckles, lean as far back as I can, and return a blow if I can. Yeah, that's totally acceptable. Um, It will attempt to dodge, because it has that ability. Let me look. So it's a track two. Oh, I don't think it will stand a chance, but it could. It has no successes. I have three successes out of six. Three successes on a, um, wow, on a close combat, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, or no. Uh, unarmed attack. Unarmed attack. Where is that? Unarmed attack uh, is just force, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's going to connect. As you take your swing, uh, the creature is unable to dodge out of the way. You connect with its midsection. You see it keels in half and falls to the ground. Another one littering the floor of the root cellar. Tova, with that, uh, did you say you're going to save your fast action? Yes, I'm going to square back up and prepare to... Dodge. So we go to Robert, or better put, the good doctor. So at this point, um, Helena has said he's here, the body's here, pointed to the center. Mm-hmm. Uh, have, have I noticed any implements like a shovel sitting somewhere or anything? You have not. Uh, what... How the where she's pointing is the ground solid? Is it soft dirt? Um, it is. Um, as you look at it, it's hard to tell. Uh, it does right. look like it's pa- like people have walked in this root cellar for fifty years. So well, would, you know, it's a really, really good thing that I grabbed that piece of the door. Uh, I am going to reach oh. into. I am going to reach into uh, my pocket, pull out my uh, snuff box, give myself a good hit because, you know, I'm going to need the extra energy and, like, throw myself to the center of the floor and using that sharp piece of uh, the door frame or whatever it is that it broke off, dig like crazy. All right, so uh, you're going to need to give me... Oh, that's pretty easy. You're going to give me a... Um, I say that's easy, and then I forget. <laughs> then you remember who the doctor is. Yeah, it's it's going to be physique. I mean... 
You're, uh-huh, uh-huh. you're, you're digging. But That's I, I, why we have cocaine. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, I'll let you actually... Well, force doesn't help you because you don't have force. Right. All right. Yep. That's physique roll. All right. With an extra die for the coke? <laughs> no, because for you, it's just normal. Oh, no. I gave myself a, a larger dose. I, I, I know myself well enough to know that I'm going to need a little bit more than standard. This isn't This isn't me maintaining. This is... I need a boost. <laughs> All right. Give me a, um, give me a D six roll. Uh, that's a five. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, you'll get a plus one then. All right. I love the vase and cocaine dice. <laughs> one out of three. I, I, when I say one, one, six out of three. One, six. Okay. You've, you've started digging into the ground and you're, uh, you're starting to pull dirt up. So that is that is working, and and I'm I'm shouting at the top of Klaus, Klaus, get it together, we're going to need you. And speaking of Klaus, Klaus, you're up. Get off me, devil, diva, devil, demon! And I'm gonna uh, I'm not even gonna try and break free. I grab him by the wrist, kind of grab him by the sh- uh, the cow uh, the coat, and I just headbutt uh, the the one grabbing me right in the nose. Oh, I like it. All right. So that is an unarmed combat. Yeah. For cocaine. <laughs> That's still not a success. <laughs> I've rolled a three and a four. <laughs> Do you have any other dice? <laughs> I've been rolling everything in the case. Uh, you know what, Terry? I feel it, I'm going to push it. I want to. I want it to work. I want to headbutt this oh, man. Oh, no. I'm All gonna right. push it. I'm gonna die anyways down here. Toby's gonna kill me, so I may as well do it. That's a That's success. fair. Yes, I succeeded <laughs> once, a singular time. The power of Toba compels you. This is great. This is very much unlike your internet. Um, you are able. <laughs> oh. You are able. <laughs> you are able to knock that one out, uh, that headbutt, um, uh, yeah, you just boom, and he is, he falls to the ground, leaving two, leaving two, yeah, Tova's taking care of two already, right? And I, yes. I just, I just want to double check real fast, because yep. I pushed it, I take a condition, that is correct. You do indeed, how many, uh, I, I am, I am now maxed out. I'm exhausted, battered, wounded, angry, frightened, helpless, and broken. But you're not broken on the physical side, I am not broken physically yet. All right. Uh, Did you want to use a fast action? Uh, I shall hold for the moment. All right. Um, That brings us to the enemies. Mm Mm-hmm. And the one that's the other one that's uh, next to you, Klaus, is going to take a swing at you. I want to dodge. You, you, of course you are. I have no issues with that. All right. What do you get? All right. Uh, dodging was uh, uh, agility. That's right. It is yeah! indeed. Uh, no successes. <laughs> well, uh, it swings at you. But good news. It was a little off kilter uh, as you headbutted the other one and it misses. Yeah. But the other one, sensing a sign of weakness will attempt as well. Shit. That is one success. I have no more reactions. I know you don't. I need you to roll 2d6 of different colors. I shall. One moment. Let me grab the, the face right. colored one. Come on. Uh, that is going to be a 66. I've rolled good for the first time. And it's a crushed chest. Uh, you feel as this creature uses all of its might and rams its fist into your chest. You immediately feel your ribs collapse. I need you to roll a 1d6. Uh, good news. Uh, that's a one. I'm rolling all the way across the chart tonight. You're su- you, um... We'll get we'll get to your effects when we come around to your turn. Oh no, I just no. Hey, wait, Terry. Okay, that's fine. 
Oh no. Yeah, you just looked, didn't you? I looked at it. Yeah, sure yep. did. All right. We go back to the top. Helena. Uh, yes. Um. Uh, just to know, um, everybody sees this and everybody right. hears the sickening crack <sighs> of the preacher's chest. Doctor, I think we might need your help. Um, and um, she's going to look toward the, the, the creature that's attacking um, Klaus, and she's going to... Or I'm going to... Um, you! He is he is an easy target. You come and get me. I am harder to get. You... 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 You should not mess with such easy things to hit. Come and get me. And she's going to... I'm going to try to persuade them to come towards me. All right. All right. Uh, so that's going to be a persuasion roll. All right. Which is... Which luck. is manipulation, I believe. Persuasion. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's okay. going to... All right. So go ahead. Give me a roll. All right. Um, okay. So let me pull up my sheet. So it's empathy, which I have five. Manipulation, I have zero. So that's three. That is no sixes on three dice. All right. All right. I rolled three threes. You see as uh, it looks at you. Um, again, with no emotion in the eyes, glazed over, eyes wide, no blinking. But you do hear, as you say that, you hear as Oscar. Don't worry. Don't worry, Ilma. You are next. All right, we go to Tova. Um. Oh, yeah. That would have been my slow, like, slow action, oh, right? Yep. Yeah. Do I get a fast You can, one? or do you want to save it for a dodge? Just understand that if you use your fast now, you don't have a dodge. Or oh, I, I, I don't know how. The, sorry, I didn't know how yeah. the reactions work. So, okay. You, so, yes, so I will save on, it then. Okay, yeah. On I mean, eights, it's not going to do anything because I don't have anything for agility. Right, you'll so. be surprised. So far, it's 50-50. So. All right. So we go to Tova. Uh, so I would have to... Uh, sorry, move within the zone. Yep. To get over to our good preacher who's to get flat to on his ass. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm going to look over my shoulder and see that he's gone down and knowing the doctor's probably going to help administer something to him, start making my way there because he's going to need some backup. And rear back my little bony fist and aim for square in the nose of the closest one. Then I love it, and it's going to it's going to attempt to dodge. That's okay because I have totally biffed it for once. You you biffed it. I biffed. You, I you, have. I have. There is no successes. Well, this is gets interestinger and interestinger because I rolled a single six. Which means that with a dodge, it can... No, it's not going to switch initiative. They wouldn't do that. So, so okay. So you just miss. Okay. Um, so we go to... Woo, we go to the, the I good I will doctor. definitely hold my dodge action. <laughs> yeah. And Eric, just a note. I need you just make sure you real, look real quick over page uh, 67 on the insight stuff. Um, shouldn't take you but a moment to just really peruse it. So we go to the good doctor. Yeah, hearing the sickening crack uh, and having a good, pretty good idea of where it came from because the things that have befallen this poor man, however much he may tease them, uh, he looks over to see Klaus, or I look over to see Klaus fall crumpled to the ground. I stop digging immediately and basically pretty much throw myself at his body, grabbing my bag and look to treat his injuries as best as I can. Um, right. it, it should be a medicine check for It is critical. correct. Medicine or inspiration. Um, any additional successes will treat further conditions along that line. Um, but right, but what, so yeah, what you're trying to do is three. get rid of that 
And precision is four, so seven die. Damn it, Klaus. We're not done with you yet tonight. We need you, man. Stay with me. I have not given you permission to die. <laughs> I think of things like this is outside your hands, Doctor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Your god may have abandoned you. I have not. Two sixes out of seven. All right. So, Klaus, the doctor comes over immediately attempting to treat the shattered sternum on your body. He's able to get you wrapped up and secure it in such a way that it doesn't feel as if it will be fatal. Um, You're able to clear your broken and one other condition. It does not change the fact that you do have that insight. And if you looked over... Go ahead. uh, Can I, like, gently as much as possible and hopefully with him uh, with uh, Klaus assisting by use of his feet like try to drag him over towards where the the body no, is buried you, you already moved towards him okay all right yep. Yep. figured I'd check yeah all can, right can, can can you can you find it within you to consecrate that ground from here oh. <laughs> no consecrate <laughs> so we go to Eric to Klaus. Uh, the whole area, I don't know, but, uh... Ah, uh, fuck. My flesh. I'm pointing. I don't my, care about the whole area. There, man. There. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. So, yeah. Get me over there, uh, and I want to spend my uh, fast action to get get to it. Uh, All right. All right. Now, uh, I would... We know where it is. Uh, I want to use this insight. This... Now, I believe it just grants me supernatural strength no no so so i could so. be vision open their eyes or control my own destiny yes there are four things you can choose from uh increase skill which is on the list which is a plus four to force i think for what you happened to you uh a vision uh, open will, your uh, oh go ahead i will demand a vision what do i have to say what do i have to do to get this thing done So, as the good doctor heals you up and you feel the life force within you ebbing ever so slowly out, you close your eyes for an instant. As they're closed, a warm light shines. It's as if you're standing on the edge of a plateau, looking out over the open plains, of an area you've never been to. You see the sun low in the sky, shining directly at you. As you're doing this, uh, as you're seeing this, everything around you in the root cellar disappears. It's peaceful and silent. And you begin to understand things. It's as if ideas slowly make their way into your head. You realize that Oscar has mistaken you all for those that killed him. He believes you all are Albert, Katja, Ilma, Empire. He knows and feels within himself a need to make all of you suffer before your ultimate demise. You, preacher, also hear and begin to understand that Oscar can be put to rest, but he must be buried in consecrated ground. You know that 
you, as a priest, have that ability to consecrate the ground. But that the remains must be dug up first so that the ground can be consecrated before the remains are buried. As you begin to realize this, the sun starts to go dark. And in the next instant, you're looking up at the doctor telling you to go and work on digging up the remains. I grab the doctor's uh, coat. Dig him up first. We gotta get him up. Then I can consecrate it. Oh dear lord, someone has destroyed this sanctuary, but I will make it better. Uh, For the first time since knowing him, the doctor does not think to even disagree in jest and gets back to work digging. Uh, if, uh, if I have not yet uh, used my action, because I don't know if using an inside does so, but I will also attempt to dig with my bare hands, blood still dripping out of the wounds fresh on my body. All right. Yeah, you can prepare to do that. You won't be able to do it uh, this round, but you are very easily able to do just that. We move to the two. I believe there's two creatures remaining. No, Tova took one out, right? No, Tova no, missed. No, I biffed. That's right. So there are two. The one is going to take a swing right back at you, Tova. Okay. I'm uh, a dodging. Yep, I figured you would. And so go ahead. Give me your roll. Uh, okay. Two successes out of four. It has no successes. So you easily dodge it. I'm assuming you don't want to switch initiative, though, because you're in a no. good spot with initiative. I'm a very good okay. spot. Uh, the other one, seeing the doctor assist with uh, Klaus, will try to swing at the good doctor. Uh, do you want to dodge? No, you used your fast action. Well, I've got good news as he misses you as well. So you are safe. We go back to the top of the order, Helena. Uh, Helena, uh, 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 I am going to just sort of stop my foot. No, you do not get to ignore me. Come get to me. Leave them alone. And I will try to persuade again to try to get the thing that's attacking. All right. Klaus give the doctor give me give me a roll. Okay. Let's see. Persuasion is manipulate. Uh, yeah, manipulation. Yeah. So, yes. That was just five because I am minus two. Oh wait, no, that'd be three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, One success out of three that time. All right. Uh, they do. They immediately turn to you. All right. And they look at you. And give me a perception roll. Not perception. It's called. I can't roll for perception. I don't know I what that know. is. <laughs> give me an observation roll. Oh, okay. So then that would be a straight five because I have plus two for observation. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's good. I got four sixes out of five. All right. For a brief moment, in the faces of the two that have now turned to you and are moving upon you, mm -hmm. you see the images of your siblings. Will you be holding your fast action? Yes. And we go to Tova. Terry, I messed that up. I believe I had used my fast action to move in to get there. It's fine. They failed, so. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, wait. So, I forgot to have that. But I will try to return the favor back to the one that just tried to take me out. <laughs> and you know what? I'm feeling really feisty, so I'm going to switch it up and try a, my left hook. Oh. And see how that goes. It will defend, of course. Um, I have a cocked one. I don't know how you... It's on its side, but... It wouldn't matter anyhow, because it's not a success. Any successes? No. Zero right. out of six. Wow, your, your, your rolls have turned away from I you. I know. It, the uh, creature went down, and I'm like, 
all shambles. <laughs> all right. Uh, I will hold so my action. We jump over to uh, the good doctor. Uh, yeah. Digging. I am digging as though our lives yep. depend on it because they do. <laughs> yes. Give me your force. Or not force. Um, it doesn't right. matter. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. It's the doctor. <laughs> it's all zero anyway. Uh, one six out of three. All right. You uh, put a, bi- a bit more of a dent into the digging. Uh, you would have needed to move over back to the area. So that would have been your fast action because you moved to you moved to uh, the priest to heal him. Right. The last preacher. turn or the preacher. Was that last turn or the turn? Yeah, that was, that was last I, round. That was last round. I guess it was, yep. was last round, yeah. So you, okay. So we move to the preacher. So uh, I'm going to continue digging as well. All right. Uh, so force, right? Here we go. Uh, no, it's just... Um... Physique? Oh, no, it is force. It is force. Yes. That is a single success. All right. Uh, as you hit it, you see a bag, the the beginnings of a burlap sack. Uh, you know with just a little more digging, you're going to be able to pull that up. Alright, I um, will hold my fast action. Okay. The two enemies come to you, Helena. One of them swings. Are you dodging? No. It will be two successes. All right. So when an attack has two successes, which this is a close combat, um, you choose to deal additional damage, additional damage. So it will be two physical conditions. Okay. All right. Uh, the second one, will you be defending that one? No. So you all see this. Two of them move to Helena. She does not defend herself. That one misses you completely. And you hear Oscar. Oh, you don't stand out of the way. Good. Feel the pains that you sent to me. He's then going to look down at the two digging members. And what do you two think you're doing? Your death will come soon enough, Albert and Katja. Soon enough. Helena. Um... She's going to... ah, I'm going to look at... uh, Am I still seeing my siblings looking at me? It's gone. (sighs) I don't like you messing with my head, Oscar. Nobody said that was fair play. <laughs> you are a coward attacking people who have nothing to do with you and using these others. It's Get- pathetic. So, uh, you said that. Um, would you want to? And you don't have to. Mm hmm. But you did see he kind of tilted his head to the side Mm -hmm. when you said you've got the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Um, Would you want to try a manipulation test to help Oscar understand that he's no longer alive and that it's been way more years? Oh, absolutely. All right. All right, so then that's just going to be three dice. Okay. Okay, let's see. Go with those three. Well, it's two sixes out of three. 
Oscar looks at you. Oh, what do you mean the wrong people? I mean, it was 50 years ago when you died. I do not know who this Hilma was other than one of the people who killed you, but I am Helena. He is Klaus. She is Tova. That is Tomas. We are here to try to put you to rest properly. Let these people go. Fifty years? It... It can't be. It feels like... It feels like yesterday. Fifty... Wait. Wait. You're not... You're... You're not, Albert. My love. Gotcha. Hilma? You see, he kind of backs away a little bit. No. Fifty years, they are dead already. You see, as he takes his hand and brushes it to the side, and the two still conscious sleepwalkers crumple to the ground. And I immediately kind of kneel down to them. I don't know how to check pulses or anything, but... I'm, They're breathing. You can yeah. see physical breathing. I, I, I'm making sure that they seem okay. Thank I, you for letting them go. Fifty years. And at this point, you can see that, that he's starting to understand things. Um, this is a chance to continue your digs. You don't have to roll. You're not being attacked. You're not, you don't have anything on you. You're able to finish digging up. And Oscar just kind of watches you, the two of you, as you do this. As you finish digging, you see the burlap sack. All that's left in it is bones all of the organic matter, the flesh, the skin, the blood, gone. What do you do? I very, very gently pick up the bag um, and move it outside of the dug area because I, I, did I understand correctly that all he needs to he can consecrate this ground and we can put the body back. Correct. So, very gently, I pick up the bag of bones and lie it on the side and move out of the, you know, move out of the burial spot. Klaus, it is your turn. Then uh, I, I spend my slow action to perform this ritual. I, uh, I take uh, the piece of wood from the doctor and I, I carve out uh, a resting place. Not haphazardly, but one that was made for this particular soul. A task for him. And I hold my rosary in front of me in this new consecrated space. And I say, Our loving God, be close to those who dwell in this room. May its walls be a reminder of strength and the shelter that you offer your people. May they remain strong to provide sanctuary and peace to all who enter and to all that will remain. May its sturdy shelves hold provisions for a long winter and a fast summer, and all those who would lean on them may it provide its strength. May its door be a reminder that you stand waiting at the door to our hearts. And may it always remain open in hospitality to the stranger and to the outcast. May the fullness of peace and joy embrace all those who come here to wash away the decades of agony that once filled these walls. In this, to our Lord God, do I pray. And I, I take what little burned remains of my Bible and I scatter it in the hole. Surprisingly, you hear, Amen. And then suddenly I find myself looking to the left and right as if it 
somebody else here that I hmm, okay I take uh, the burlap from the doctor and I I set it I, I take the remains out and I set the bones in the way that they would have laid in the space the arms, the shoulders, the legs the skull facing towards our Lord God in as sanctimonious a way as I can now, uh, to finish this, guys, we need to uh, each throw a pinch of dirt. We're the last ones to see it, so it needs to be all of us. All right. Where I'm kneeling down, I just grab a piece, uh, a bit of dirt, and to- uh, toss it onto the bones. Uh, I'll move over and grab a handful of dirt. I feel it crumble in my hand. I will tell your story, Oscar. It deserves to be told. And she'll throw the dirt into the grave. I'll walk up after Miss Helena and squat down to pick up some dirt. And look over at Klaus. Not bad, preacher. Not bad and toss it into the grave. Klaus, here. And I reach into my pocket and pull out a little black book with a cross on it and pass it over. It'll do in a pinch, not what you need, but just enough. And I has to pass him my um, memento hymnal that's been passed down from my family. I take it. Sure will do in a pinch. Thank you, Tova. I've marked all my favorite hymnals. Dog-eared them. They're all dog-eared. <laughs> uh, Klaus, uh, the last to bend over, takes uh, the softest bit of dirt he can find, and sprinkles it over. Now, be at peace, and let our song accompany you to heaven. And I will turn to page uh, 42 and uh, begin the song on that page. As you begin singing, you see, you see Oscar, Oscar's visage, the ghost starts to reform from a skeletal, ghostly, glowing, ephemeral creature to something that looks more like a person who lived 50 years ago, the same person that you saw in the vision when you entered the root cellar. He looks at each of you, nods, and in the next instance is gone. As you stand there, the rest of the root cellar starts to change before your eyes until it looks like a normal root cellar. Normal size, looks like it should be on the inside as it is on the outside. You listen and realize the rain has stopped. The bodies that have been knocked out, you all move back into the inn. The next morning, they do wake up. But they have no recollection of what happened the previous evening. Olas Clint looks at the four of you as you recount the story to him. He's bewildered, curious why the four of you were kept awake and why he ended up falling asleep. Once you ensure that everybody is okay, you all return back to your home. And make note of what it is you learned, what it is you saw, and what it is to be a member of the society. Well, you now know the story of the Witch Cat Inn and Oscar Yort. Our society members were successful in staving off the dangers that come with dealing with a revenant. But the preacher went through much in his ordeal. What will happen to him in the future? No one knows. 
nor the rest of our society members. But it can be assured that there are more Vason out there, and they will be prepared. Thank you for joining us for the Dance of Dreams, a Vason actual play podcast by Roll for Perception. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. For more information, visit our website at www.rollforperception.com. Until next time, stay vigilant and keep your mind calm, for you never know when a vasin might appear. <laughs>